Israel Gaza Iran War News Live Update Israel fires fireball into Lebanon using weapon last used in 16th century. Amid escalating hostilities between Israel and Hezbollah, an Iranian backed group, Israeli forces have deployed a medieval style catapult to launch fireballs into neighboring Lebanon. Trebuchets, which are projectile launchers that use a spinning arm and a sling, have seen little use since the 16th century. Catapults have not came into common use, according to the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, according to Thursday's report by Khan, an Israeli public broadcaster and CNN affiliate. Israeli forces were able to better identify militants trying to access the border after using the trebuchet to burn shrubs, according to Kansas. In order to get a comment from the IDF, CNN has called them. Wednesday saw the release of a video showcasing the catapult in operation. CNN was unable to confirm the exact time of filming, but they did pinpoint the location to the border between Israel and Lebanon. Catapults are a weapon from a bygone military era, although there have been claims of their use by rebels in Syria in 2013 and Ukrainian demonstrators during the Euromaidan events in 2014. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés used a large-scale trebuchet against the Aztecs in 1521 during the attack on Tenochtitlan, Mexico. This was one of the last instances of its employment in combat. In the 15th century, with the introduction of modern gunpowder weaponry, the employment of trebuchets and other catapults started to diminish. Following last week's cross-border attacks from Lebanon, which set enormous fires raging over northern Israel, engulfing big areas of land and forcing residents to evacuate, the video has emerged. This month has seen an upsurge in cross-border attacks, although fighting has been relatively low intensity since the October 7 raid on Israel by Hamas, which killed some 1,200 people and abducted 200 more, according to Israeli officials. The result was the Israeli-Hamas conflict in Gaza, which has devastated the territory and claimed the lives of over 36,000 Palestinians, according to Gazan authorities. Supporting the Palestinians in Gaza is Hezbollah's stated goal in the ongoing conflict with Israel. Its military might has reportedly increased since 2006, when it depended heavily on inaccurate Katyusha rockets from the Soviet era, and is now far greater than Hamas. Hassan Nasrallah, leader of Hezbollah, claims that his party has over 100,000 active and reserve members. If an all-out conflict broke out, the group's 150,000 rockets could overwhelm Israel's defenses. According to the IDF, who spoke with CNN, around 53,000 Israelis have been forced to leave the north since hostilities broke out in October. The Health Ministry of Lebanon reported that around 94,000 individuals had to leave the border area. After his victorious return to the Hill, Trump met with Republican leaders in the House and Senate. Trump, the former President of the United States, is currently facing criminal accusations related to a plot to invalidate the 2020 election. Hush money controversy, the conviction has energized Trump's base and increased his fundraising. The impact of an ex-president's historic conviction on swing voters remains uncertain. Trump has hushed skeptics, swept away GOP critics, and wooed lawmakers who were formerly skeptical of him. Near the Capitol, at Trump's campaign headquarters, Republicans in the Senate met. During the private breakfast meeting, Republicans in the House sung Happy Birthday to Trump. While in office, Trump jeopardized the long-standing American practice of a peaceful handover of authority.